Hi, my name is Abigail, and today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate GitHub within your Huli workspace. I'll demonstrate step-by-step -step how to connect GitHub to Huli and show you how this integration can help your team work more efficiently. For this tutorial, I'm going to be connecting my own Huli workspace to a repository for a side project I manage called NoNative. Let's get started. To get started, navigate to the integration settings and click configure under GitHub. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've already authorized the Huli GitHub app on my GitHub account, but if you haven't done this, you'll just click the button down here that says Authorize the Huli GitHub app. Next, you'll click on GitHub Repositories and then Install GitHub app. You'll go through a couple steps here to select the repository you want to connect and then click Install. Back in Huli, you'll need to choose a Huli project to connect your repository to. Here, I'm creating a new project called No Native GitHub setting the default assignee to myself and toggling auto join so anyone I add to my Huli workspace will automatically become a member of this project. From here, things will start working in the background to get GitHub and Huli synced up. In your tracker, you'll see the project you created. Here, you'll see I starred no native GitHub, so it stays at the top of my list of projects. I'll talk about why I have the other projects here in a bit, but for now we'll focus on our GitHub project. Issues that are currently open are given a status of backlog. Merged shows the pull requests that have been merged. At the bottom, issues that are closed are here under the status done. Components are a feature that is being phased out, so we'll skip this for now. Milestones can be used to organize issues. I don't have any setup for this small project, so we'll skip this as well. I've created two templates for feature requests and bug reports, but I'll talk about this a little more later on. Finally, pull requests just shows the PRs. Soon we'll see how PRs are reviewed and merged and how that's tracked in Huli. Let's create a new issue in Huli. Here I've just added some placeholder information so we can see how things work. I've also made sure that this issue is created in the correct project. I've updated the issue status to to-do and assigned it to myself. It is possible to create an issue without GitHub, but for now we'll just create this issue in the no-native repository. Here we can see the repository that this issue is connected to. We can also see a direct link to the issue in GitHub. Let's go ahead and follow that link and take a look at GitHub. Here we can see the corresponding issue in GitHub. All of our markdown formatting has been carried over. Let's go ahead and try editing the description. Back in Huli, we can see that the issue description has been updated. I can also see a record of what's been changed. From GitHub, I can also leave a comment. Let's say I want to attach a file to. Here, I can see the comment that I left from GitHub as well as the file that I've attached. Now let's see how GitHub pull requests are managed in Huli. Here I'll create a new branch from the issue we just created. I committed a change and pushed it to the branch, so let's open a pull request. Typically I would add a reviewer, but I can't assign myself as the reviewer, and I'd like to protect the names of the others contributing to the project, so for now I'll leave it blank. I will, however, assign the pull request to myself. Back in Huli, I can see that my pull request is listed under Review in Progress. This means that the PR has been submitted but has not yet been merged. Notice that a diff file has been automatically attached. I could download this and open it to take a look at what's been changed for the pull request. Note that the pull request has been assigned to me and the reviewer is blank as we left it. We can also see that it's been linked up to the pull request in GitHub. Let's go ahead and merge the pull request and see what happens in Huli. I'm going to go ahead and merge it without a reviewer. Here we can see that the status of this pull request has been set to merged, and we can see a merged at and closed at date and time in the details. 
Now that we've seen how GitHub can be integrated with Huli, you may be wondering, how is integrating the two any better than just using them separately? This is a great question, but it's also easy to answer. Connecting a GitHub repository to Huli allows you to track your GitHub activity right alongside your other internal projects, allowing for cross-collaboration between engineers and other teams or departments. GitHub not only integrates with your Huli task tracker, but also becomes woven into Huli's inbox and chat modules, allowing everyone in the workspace to stay in the loop and participate in discussions related to GitHub issues. Let's take a closer look at how GitHub integration can help your teams work more efficiently in Huli. Because a GitHub repository is connected to a Huli project, all of the settings available for Huli projects are also available for GitHub projects. Here you can toggle privacy, visibility, and access settings. You can also customize process states for issues and pull requests. By default, the process states for pull requests are review in progress, merged, and canceled. However, you may wish to add additional steps in your workflow. For example, you might create process states like submitted, under review, ready to merge, merge, and canceled, which could be used within your Huli workspace to track internally where PRs are in the review process. Just like any other issues, when an issue is assigned to someone with a status of to-do, that assignee will receive an action item in their personal planner that can then be added to their own schedule. These action items can then be viewed on the team agenda. Another benefit of integrating GitHub within your Huli task tracker is the ability to create your own issue templates for internal use. Here, I've created templates for feature requests and bug reports. These templates can be used when creating a new issue. This is helpful for beginners or non-devs to report bugs or request a feature without needing to navigate GitHub. Anyone who's assigned an issue will receive a notification in their inbox, as well as anybody who's mentioned in a description or comment on the issue. Here in the inbox, we can see notifications for both the issue and the pull request that I assigned to myself. This allows everyone involved in the GitHub project to manage their notifications alongside all their other activities in the workspace, without needing to rely on email or GitHub itself to track updates. Over in chat, issues and pull requests are listed right alongside direct messages and chat threads and channels. This makes it easy for team members to participate in discussions about issues without ever having to navigate to GitHub or even to the issue itself. Notice that opening any chat related to an issue reveals all of the activity history for that issue. I can even see a history of changes to the issue description. Just like any other chat, messages related to issues or pull requests can be pinned, bookmarked, or even made into their own chat threads. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about integrating GitHub within your Huli workspace, please feel free to leave a comment below or connect directly with our team through our Slack community. We hope to see you there.